Burm, 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 burm. Uh, burm. All right. So let's get this party started. Uh, so first off, thank you everyone for coming to the Wesley Willis panel. Uh, a bit about me and Adam. So originally five years ago, we hijacked a panel that the people originally uh, running it never attended. So <laughs> yeah, see we have a few people were at that one in the audience. Um, yeah. Let's give it up for anybody who was here five years ago. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> so just a bit about us. Uh, well, me for, uh, specifically. Big Wesley Willis fan. A uh, couple things that he has taught me in my life. Um, I was always a McDonald's uh, customer, but... <laughs> You know, I, I, I didn't realize that, you know, McDonald's could be more than just food. And he, yeah. <laughs> it is worse. Well, yeah, it is worse than Burger yeah, King. Yeah, let's talk about the fat content of Burger King uh, food. You know, versus... interesting fact, actually, uh, his um, nutrition facts are outdated. The Big Mac is now 33 grams of fat and the Quarter Pounder is 20 grams of fat. I looked it up. Uh, I was going to present it, but we didn't work that into a slide. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I, I did find that people could flock to McDonald's to get down to the rock music. Yeah. That's, that's the most important part. And it, it just opened up a, a whole new world for me. <laughs> so that is my uh, experience with Wesley Willis. And um, looking back on, uh, you know, our, our panel hijacking, uh, we had tried to get this run again uh, without success, um, despite... Uh, the fan outreach, but Adam managed to get it for us this year. So I want to just you know, give a shout out to Adam for scheduling this one for us. He got it approved. We're here today. Thanks to Adam. <laughs> All right. So uh, we want to open up. And uh, I mean, five years ago was a different time, right? Like, uh, there's a global pandemic that changed how we perceive the world, changed how we perceive human interaction. And in that time, I think we've all changed a bit. We've all matured. We're all, we're all over five here. We've all... <laughs> we're not more mature than that, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> Some I, of us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say that uh, we, we've, we've all learned a lot. We're, none of us are the same people we were six years ago. Um, and I think through that vein, we, uh, we, we've grown an appreciation beyond the sardonic for Wesley Willis. He's uh, truly a person that's overcome a lot, somebody that, um, that stepped up, that took accountability for his own life, that took accountability for his music, that made a lasting impact on everybody in this room. Uh, and I, I don't want to deprive us of the fun, nor do I want to deprive us of the experience that was Wesley Willis. So um, I certainly want to open us up to some, uh, some discourse on, on who he was as a person and some celebration of music. So We will be doing some singing. Uh, I hope you're all down for that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we all know Wesley Willis. Everybody in this room, well, show of hands, who's heard Wesley Willis's music? Anybody hasn't? Nice. Get out of this room. No, 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 <laughs> I'm no, sorry. No. I'm just, I'm just no. kidding. Sit down. No, Sit your ass down. <laughs> yeah. You're going to hear some musical genius. You're going to hear some stuff that's great. You're going to hear some stuff that's okay. Um, but I think you're going to hear some stuff that reflects a human experience. And we're, we're all human. We're all trying to connect with each other. And, and the way he did it was so beautiful. Just, just how he opened up, how he, how he was his own person. Yeah. Especially with that demo button on that <laughs> keyboard. Yeah, so the, the beautiful Wesley Willis, uh, 1963 and 2003 taken way too soon from us. So, Absolutely. Uh, I'll open that up. Uh, uh, a lot of people are familiar with the music. Anybody familiar with his art pieces? A show of hands. Oh, nice. I think that's his best talent right there. I, if you take a look at some of his art, it's just, it's pleasant. It's, the buildings often lean to the right. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's just a nice observation of, you know, his world. Yeah. Absolutely. What Wesley Willis had a uh, unique perspective, and, and his art, uh, just like his music, reflected his perspective of the world. He would open up with, uh, with, really, he'd pick a spot, he'd sit, 
he'd draw what he saw, he'd write what he heard. And that's, that's beautiful. There, there's a transparency to that. There's an openness to that. Um, but we all know I whoop Batman's ass. We all know Rock and Roll McDonald's. And rest assured, we're all going to get down to those rock, rock tunes today. Better believe we are. <laughs> but but he, was a, he was a legend in Chicago. Anybody here from the Chicago area or familiar with Chicago? Yeah. Do any of you have his art pieces? Yeah. Any, anybody have any art pieces from him? No, but there's, ah. a, like, there's this Chicago style hot dog place in Minneapolis that has one on its wall. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Oh, that, do you know the name of that place? Fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fox Hot Dogs. I've been there. <laughs> Get those glizzies, yo. That's <laughs> no, all good. It's all good. But but yeah, the the impact that he's had is is well beyond the music scene. He uh, uh, his perspective was unique. A uh, uh, person who is uh, who grew up in a, a very interesting. Uh, I, I don't want to put anybody to disadvantage, but he he grew up in a challenging life. He had he had uh, ten brothers and sisters. Uh, had, had a very tenuous relationship with his family. The, this man saw beauty in the world around him and wanted to wanted to document it, wanted to create it, wanted to share it with those that he saw. Was he? He was robbed by his mother's boyfriend. Uh, you know, all kinds of difficulties. Yeah, and he overcame all of them to mm -hmm. become a uh, the person that we're all here to honor. So, um, again, the, I, I think I think that while the music was a gateway, I mean, th there's a lot of people here. I, I know personally, me when I was first introduced to his music, I. I was around 20. Uh, I heard um, some songs that were, were very just in your face, kind of funny to laugh at. And, and I think I grew as a person when I learned to laugh with them and not, not at the idea. Unfortunately, so. yeah, that was one of the criticisms of his uh, record label is that yeah. people were laughing at him. But as we've grown, I think we've learned to laugh with him. Yeah. Granted, Absolutely. there is some songs that, well, there is, we cannot <laughs> help but laugh at. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, I'm not going to name that song. Never mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll hope to experience a few of those later on as we go on. So, um, yeah, he was an underground legend uh, among Chicago's art scene. He uh, uh, he became a fixture of his neighborhoods that he hung out in in Chicago. Um, he uh, just draw constantly, all the time, just hustling, just just uh, just creating art pieces, drawing what he saw. He'd pick a spot, he'd sit, he'd draw. And then he'd market it to everybody around him. He's such an attractive personality, so vibrant, so, uh, so just just very present uh, and respectful the whole time. Just very nice guy, and despite at, his circumstances. And at a great price, ten to twenty bucks. Because if you've seen a Wesley <laughs> Willis painting going now, I've seen one on eBay for three thousand. So yeah. <laughs> they appreciate in value. <laughs> they, they sure do. A hell of an investment. So oh, if yeah. you can find Wesley Willis art recommend you buy it <laughs> yeah and, and way beyond the kitsch factor i mean uh, certainly again everybody knows rock and roll mcdonald's but but not many people know his uh, his deeper works that they, they, they don't know uh that his music was a tool for combating his own challenges and uh and the fact that he was able to uh to to use his music to fight really fight off his demons to to drive <laughs> Yeah, uh, 8.5. Yeah, 8 .5. I'm, I'm at a solid six. Solid six. Uh, this is our... Uh, our, our no, we, we don't need no, to know. No, no, okay. You all don't need to know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, welcome, Anything? new fans. <laughs> I think I'm at a like light. To Wesley Willis. <laughs> is Phil here? Welcome. Who's Phil at? Is Phil here? Uh, Phil, are you here? <laughs> Phil, Phil, shout what, out a what, number. Phil, what, what are your four? numbers? Four? Okay. <laughs> Nick, Nick, what are your numbers? Nick? Ra five? Rachel, what are your numbers? Five? <laughs> I see that some people want to sing along. How about we get why some are they music going Why is everybody here? singing? Yo, he really Yo, did. He really let, killed me calling me a bum. Let's, uh, let's, yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the things I love about that song is that, you know, Wesley shows some vulnerability. He says, Batman beat the hell out of me and knocked me to the floor. But also, you know, right he there. comes back Five. from it. Four. He got Four, up, yeah. and he knocked him to the floor. And on top of that, he throws a little insult in there. You know, he was being such a jack-off. So I, I call Wesley the winner in that one. <laughs> Your hair is the reason that nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going we're gonna to take a moment. We're going to have some music, people. 
Oh. Yeah. 150. <laughs> Where's our music? All right. We're going to take a quick moment. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Right. We're, we're, I mean, we're, we're certainly going to get down to the rock music. We're all going to flock there. I would assume we'd all flock there. But they in the interim, flock. we're going to appreciate some of the, uh, the finer works of Wesley. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, the vultures ate my dead ass up. <laughs> and we're all, we're all going to get down. Once upon a time, a team of hungry birds came down on a dead body. It was the dead deer. They sucked their teeth into the dead deer. The vultures were hungry. The vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures ate my dead ass up. The vultures ate the deer like it was going out of style. They were eating on the skull. They were skull. eating like dogs. Like dogs. The vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures ate my dead ass up. Just a quick note, uh, Wesley Willis was known for his hell rides and his joy rides. Uh, his hell rides were manifestations of his demons. His joy rides were his musical interludes. These brought him peace. These brought him comfort. Uh, and sometimes the, uh, the sardonic in me wants to skip them, but I like to just close my eyes and enjoy where he's taking us. The vultures took off like a jet plane. They were flying United. They were flying at 150 miles per hour. 150. They were flying like an airplane. That's very the fast. vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, the vultures, ate my dead the ass up. Ate my dead ass up. The vultures, ate my dead ass up. The vultures, ate my dead ass up. The vultures, ate my dead ass up. Rock over London, rock, rock on, on Chicago. Chicago. Wheaties, represent the champions. Yes. Now, I don't know what everybody else's opinion is, but Wheaties Breakfast the Champions, my favorite sign off. <laughs> <laughs> Pontiac, building excitement. <laughs> Man, 20 years in the future, you would have thought that Netflix would have taken that. If Don't only do had... that. No, no, no. We no. can't get depressed. No, it's okay. It's okay. We're not getting depressed. We're just remarking about a changing world that we all have to confront every day. Don't want to think about the right, change right, without right. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Yeah. There's Blockbuster's still around. We're fine. It's hanging right. there. Oh my God! Yes. Wesley Willis trying to win. Yes. Win. Yes. Oh. Yes. Enough of this Danny DeVito crap. Let's get some Wesley Willis up in this shit. Hey, Has anyone seen the Danny DeVito also, yes. shrine here? What? Where is that at? Yeah, I missed it. To be honest. Is it? Yeah. All right. You got something for us? All right. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Let's give a hand to Andy. He's uh, he's helping us out tonight. I, I did not realize. Please, that please stop right doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! But yeah. Right. Back, back to Wesley. Wesley was uh, uh, an interesting person. He, uh, again, uh, one of 11 children uh, in and out of foster care with, his, uh, with custody with his mother, uh, who was in and out of relationships that some would find unsavory. Um, culminating in an experience where fighting for his independence, Wesley had saved up money, working odd jobs, selling, selling art, uh, creating music. Um, and the, the person that his mother trusted the most uh, robbed him at gunpoint, um, taking his money, taking $600. Yeah, and, just to put that in perspective, this is 1990 money. Let's think of how hard it is to save 600 now. It was even worse back then. Working your ass off to get 600 and then all of a sudden, this bastard takes it from you. Uh, so, 
to hell with Roger Lee Carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I want to expand on that a little bit. Uh, Wesley was a person of indomitable resilience, a man who every day would be hustling for uh, creating beautiful art. Uh, we've seen the line art um, that, that he's been uh, capable of producing uh, and the music that he's been able to produce. Um, I learn a lot from him every day in that you, you just keep going. Uh, when, when things set you back, you don't stop. You, you just keep moving forward. You keep your eye on the prize and you keep driving forward. Uh, I think we've all learned a lot about that over the past few years. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, new friends. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's challenging to, to really just process the amount, of, uh, the amount of struggle that he put up with, never having a stable home, never being able to, to rely on his, uh, his household growing up, uh, and still just keep creating every day. It's, uh, it's something that is it's just impossible for me to process. Again, and that's without the mental illness factor. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, yeah. absolutely. Chronic schizophrenia. Yeah. yeah. A song yeah. of his as well. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're, we're going to delve a little bit into the, the depths of that, but um, his, his schizophrenia really took off after that incident. Um, we, we can see how painful that experience was in Wesley's life as um, again, his, his only safe space became not safe. What do you do? What does anybody do? they, uh, they they work through it. Uh, they figure it out. Um, and he dives into music. And we're we're gonna take a we're gonna take a quick joy ride into uh, Roger Lee Carpenter. So. Again, the point of this is we're we're absolutely here to celebrate, but we want to experience his ride as well. Let so. us not forget that this guy sucks. Roger Lee Carpenter was a jerk. He was an asshole. He wanted to steal my life savings. He also wanted to kill Eddie Willis. Roger Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter beat Eddie Willis with a rubber hose. He accused her of hiding his gun. He wanted to kill her. What a stupid asshole. What a stupid Roger asshole. Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter. Roger Lee Carpenter. It takes an asshole to rob a man who's saving up to do about him. At gunpoint, how could you do that? How could you do that to somebody who could be a son-in-law? It's absolutely reprehensible. And the spirit of Wesley overcame adversity. We can all learn a lot. Wesley Willis pa panel in here. Y'all can come in. Don't be shy. <laughs> We're just getting down to the rock music. It's coming back. Where, where are you guys going? Here we go. Almost there. Truly a 
diss track work of art. <laughs> and that's what Wesley did. He, he observed the world around him. He, uh, he created a, a sense of connection with it. And he, he told everybody how he felt. Stated the facts, really. He, he didn't hold Roger Lee Carpenter up. was an asshole. <laughs> he said it. Uh, as a note, currently Roger Lee Carpenter is, in, uh, is incarcerated, serving 40 years for the murder of, uh, of somebody close to Wesley Willis. So, I, uh, I know, right? Mm. Exactly. It's, and Wesley kept that spirit of connection alive he uh he, he tells the facts like they are he he never he, the, despite his lyrics being a little risque uh, despite him going a little into the uh into profanity um he, he he told it like it was he never bullshitted he never bullshitted anybody around him he was uh he was very transparent literally by, by my art literally I, if you if you look at his lyrics for you know the music screw he says that there was 2,000 people in attendance. I, I believe that there was 2,000 people in attendance. Or, Absolutely. Uh, oh, I forgot the other one, but there was another con concert that he attended with 3,000 people in yeah. attendance. Yeah. And he said they were both successful. <laughs> it, uh, oh, jeez, I wish I remember it now. It, it had a more aggressive name than the Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he... Uh... Uh, he brings a sincerity to his music, and uh, again, we can all laugh at rock and roll down. So we're all going to get down. Rest assured, Absolutely. we're getting down. But, we're not just there to order Big Macs and quarter pounders and put pounds on ourselves. But but let's, let's not kid ourselves. Exactly. The the appreciation of this man. I again, we 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 jumped up here just to kind of salvage a situation, but the appreciation runs deeper than we thought it possibly could go. So, um, I'm I'm just going to jump us forward a little bit. Let's see what we wrote. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, as we all know, the uh, there's a typical sample track. I believe it's a uh, Country Five on the Technics KN2000, which is the the common backdrop for most of the music that Wesley produced. Uh, we hope but, you appreciate that picture that we selected. <laughs> it looks a little bit aged. It does, but uh, but I mean it's a sign of the times, right? 2003. He. Uh, he in his career, he uh, he released over fifty albums, fifty albums, over a thousand songs that were more than just uh, more than just uh, tongue in cheek explanations of the surroundings, but were cathartic, were tools that he used to combat the the demons that lived within inside of him. Specifically, he would try and gross them out yeah. on his bus rides. It, it, this this it, man it may have worked, uh, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, he, he, he was well, trying I, I don't feel like Heinz is that, yeah. that gross when he says like <laughs> Heinz America's ketchup but there's more to it <laughs> oh, yeah. we're getting into some of the obscure, obscure stuff there yeah <laughs> but uh yeah he, he uh his goal was to just uh fight through and, and to create a, a sense of grounding uh, and, to, and to fight off his demons, literally, with music, the power of music. He, uh, he fought back the voices in his head, uh, and he was able to retain a, a sense of self through that and a sense of uh, rational justification for himself. Yeah, definitely. He, uh, he was quoted as saying, um, hates being around, not being around music, and uh, it definitely drowned out the voices and had you hear an outrage. Uh, <laughs> I think that was the one where yeah. they get to him. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. He, he'd always keep his headphones oh, on. Oh, outburst. That was it. Yeah. He, he would never not be couple. listening to music if he wasn't interacting with people. They, uh, they, they kept the, uh, the hell rides at bay. So, um, And, yeah, he, he, he coined his music as joy rides for the, uh, um, the, the, the peace that he achieved while, while listening to it. So. All right, we're going to take a hey, quick some music musical here. interlude here. We, we all know and love this song. I'm going to wait for the end. The NBA is back, and with FanDuel, this... Well, would Wesley want us to listen to the ad? No? All right, we're, skip we're skipping the ad. Here we go. 
Ah! On mute. Yeah, that button. What button? There you go. Batman got on my nerves. He was running me a mouk. He ridiculed me, calling me a bum. I whooped Batman's ass. 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 Batman thought he was bad. He was a fucking asshole in the first place. He got knocked to the floor. You know what? I whooped Batman's ass! 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 Shout out to the man who made the demo button <laughs> and the music for Wesley was. I don't feel like he gets enough credit. <laughs> anybody here a gamer? Anybody, anybody here played a game that was made with uh, like RPG? Batman maker? beat the hell out of me and knocked me to the floor. I got back up and knocked him to the floor. He was being such a jack off. I whooped Batman's ass! 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 Well, I whooped Batman's ass! I whooped Batman's ass! I whooped Batman's ass! He caught you off guard, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I gotta love how Wesley fixes it up. Chicago. <laughs> Wheaties, represent champions. champions. Breakfast of champions. Wesley Willis panel in here. Feel welcome to come in. <laughs> we should threaten people to come in here. <laughs> so, so we've covered a lot of this material already. Uh, just a more jovial photo of uh, Wesley. Uh, somebody, again, who, who, who took from his surroundings and made things better. He just made everything around him better. Uh, whether he was interacting with the folks that he bought art supplies from, uh, whether he was interacting with family, whether he was interacting with uh, uh, potential bandmates, he he created he created joy out of his surroundings. He made everything better. And these were not without difficulty, of course. Like he went to art supply stores and stuff, and once again had outbursts. Uh, he yelled, "Suck my dick!" in front of a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like he was very embarrassed about that, though. He sung about it and felt it. It sounds like he felt a degree of shame. So it, it couldn't have been. Ta it had to be taxing on him. Yeah. Uh, there definitely were struggles in there, but he overcame them. I feel like. Yeah. I mean, you look at you look at that art. Yeah. Yes. Why does you know, that that's an interesting thing, uh, <laughs> interesting point. Let's demonstrate. Yes, because I wanted to do this with someone. He would yeah. greet his fans with a headbutt, <laughs> and I, I felt it appropriate to greet somebody with a headbutt. Um, 
Adam, you sound like you're enthusiastic about doing this as well. I think I'm okay with that. But okay. I think I think before we take that off, we should uh, we should ask uh, if maybe there's a word that uh, might sound like rock that we could all say. Can everybody say rock? rock. Can everybody say roll? roll? Can everybody say rock? rock. Can everybody say roll? roll? Can everybody say rock? Can everybody say Raul? All right, let's do it. You want to do a headbutt? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. On three. One, One two, two, three. <laughs> Does anyone want to come and do a headbutt with us? <laughs> you, sir, in the back with a hand up there. Yeah. I'll do a headbutt with you. We're going to do a gentle one, though, because I just don't we feel gotta, like we got to be gentle. Myself. We have permanent marks now on our forehead. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> but to answer the question, that's where the mark on his forehead came from. Uh, as a, a common greeting for his uh, closest friends, he would headbutt um, and with, with intensity. I mean, take a look at the mark on that forehead. We were mild, but yeah, <laughs> I imagine he hit a bit harder. <laughs> Can everybody say rock? rock. Can everybody say roll? Can everybody say rock? Rock. Can everybody say rock? Rock. All right. Next. <laughs> no, 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 wrong one. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> what everybody came for, I'm sure. I, I, I want to. I, I just want to take a moment and say that while this may be one of his greatest hits, uh, it means a lot more to that to me than, than it used to. I used to cruise in my car, listen to this, having a laugh. And now I cruise in my car, listen to this, having a laugh, uh, and enjoying life a little bit deeper. So with that, Rock and Roll McDonald. So we're gonna invite, I think we should invite everyone to come sing with us. Coming up. <laughs> That's a good Sing one, too. Jesus <laughs> I, do we, do, show, show a hand. I'm going to do this song again. Number two. Who, who wants Jesus as the answer? All right. All right. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. At least 10 votes. Here we go. We had three. This is the song that I'm going to be singing to you, which is called Jesus is the Answer. Number one, I'm going to do this song again. Number two, I'm going to do this song again all the way up your ass. All the way number up your three, ass. I'm going to fuck your ass up like in a car crash. And number four, I'm going to fuck you up like a goddamn accident. And number yeah. five, Jesus is the Answer. This is the song that I'm going to rap about, which is called Jesus is the Answer. Jesus is 
Chicago, Bishy Bishy, the wood is getting around. <laughs> that Woo! one's a different one. <laughs> All right. So Wesley had that the would answer. be Jesus. <laughs> so just a little note, uh, Wesley was uh, again a dynamic individual who had friends that were musically inclined, and uh, he wasn't a solo act his whole career. He he partnered with bands. Uh, um, there was a fiasco. There was a fiasco. Uh, Wesley Willis fiasco was a partnership with one of his friends that um, he, he used to attend their band practice and just started singing. And uh, they invited him in, and it be, kind of became the cornerstone. He had this infectious personality where he would just uh, he, he just kind of become the center of the room. Um, yeah. So speaking of center of the room, I think we should all gather around. We can all sing together. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, we're, we're at church here. <laughs> One thing that we like to do with our panels is, you know, just bring everybody together. <laughs> so we're going to come out and we're going to sing some rock and roll McDonald's. And if you're feeling game, you can come up here and sing with us. Sir, if you're feeling uh, like you would like to experience Wesley Willis, you're more than welcome to join us. In here in Panels 5, there's no need to hide. We're going to sing some songs. In Panels 5. Panels 5. We're having a fantastic time in Panels 5. He's hiding. <laughs> he, he's gathering yeah, courage. McDonald's will make you fat. It's a Big Macs. It, it will put pounds on you, by the way. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> let's get this show started. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Give it up for this guy. He has joined the Wesley Willis panel. Uh, excuse me. Have you uh, have you experienced Wesley Willis before? No. Oh, you are about to. You are about to. Feel free to come up and sing with us. Do you flock to get down to the rock music? At McDonald's, specifically. <laughs> do you go to McDonald's to eat food, or do you go there to get down to the rock music? All right. Well, there you go. Oh, I like that answer. Well, uh, sir, you can join us as well. <laughs> <laughs> Panels 5, Wesley Willis. <laughs> and you as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo! Thank you for attending. <laughs> All are welcome here. And, uh, all, <laughs> wow, there's a lot of passerbys now. Wesley Willis. <laughs> I think the, we can attract a lot of people with the music, though. I think we can. His music it tells a story that's timeless. Yes. Uh, timeless. 
Timeless as the uh, rock and roll at McDonald's. The only thing that isn't timeless is the nutrition facts. Because once again, Big Mac is now 33 grams of fat and Quarter Pounder is 20 grams of fat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so before we get started, just a quick fact. Uh, everybody here knows rock and roll at McDonald's, right? So nice. Uh, That's anybody like not see. from Chicago may not know that the Rock and Roll McDonald's is an actual building that exists in Chicago. Uh, unfortunately, it was remodeled in 2003 and is no longer uh, rock and roll themed. Um, they've gone through a few ripped out the sets. play place too. Oh yeah, they did. Um, but but this this was inspiration for one of his greatest hits. So let's give it up for Wesley Willis. Who would like to come up and sing with us? McDonald's is a place to rock. It is a restaurant where they buy food to eat. It is a good place to listen to the music. People flock here to get down to the rock music. Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! McDonald's will make you fat. They serve Big Macs. They serve quarter pounders. They will put pounds on you. Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Come up here with that! Come on! Bring the shitty flute! Than Burger King. Burger King. What? A Big Mac has 26 grams of fat. A quarter pounder has 28 grams of fat. Rock and roll McDonald's. 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 Wheaties, breakfast champions. Great, you all were awesome. <laughs> Guys, I became debt free driving for DoorDash, and it's been great. Everybody panic! What a beautiful tune. So now we have a little section where, you know, we can all do some Q and A. Share some experiences. Uh, so I guess we'll first hand up. Yeah. Uh, all right. I've never heard of this guy. I just walked in. Bullshit! I I saw your request before. No, no. <laughs> This is a toughie. <laughs> I, I, what the heck? I have not even heard of that one. <laughs> I, 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 I got, can't, everybody's mad like I missed that one. <laughs> just, just, a, just, just a note. Just a quick note. This is an 18 plus panel. So <laughs> okay, what, yeah, what yeah. Do not hold back on the game. language. <laughs> so uh, personally... I honestly, I'm gonna give it to Rock and Roll McDonald's for me, not because it's not a popular song, but because the more I hear it, the more I acknowledge that he's just he's just going off about this place that was near and dear to him, that was close to where he grew up. He watched 
He watched traffic patterns build around it. He, he watched it blossom into this, this beautiful facility. And he, he, it, was just, it was so near and dear to him. Um, I don't know. What, I, what do I, I feel like that's the gateway drug into Wesley Willis, to be honest. And that's fair, oh. yeah. I mean, Suck a Dog's Dick is, is pretty intense. Uh, I, I included my favorite, um, The Vultures Ate My Dead Ass Up. Yeah, um, that, that, that's a good one. I, I, but I, I think, like, for me, so. Maybe Elvis Presley, where he starts to, you know, explore certain effects, is a big one. For which, me. which has a. <laughs> oh. Which has a note, Elvis Presley was prominently featured. He was the cornerstone of the Rock and Roll McDonald's. Like, like, actually, uh, while we're talking about. Um, <laughs> Mutated bird things. I, I think the chicken cow is a big one as chicken, well. Chicken uh, cow's good. That, that, that one. Uh, I mean, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna queue up after you in the ass, you know. I'm gonna queue up chicken back. cow and take, take, take the next question. Yes. Uh, yes. Let's go front and back. Let's go front and back. Start yeah. with her. <laughs> I, yeah, I heard that for the first time yesterday. <laughs> what an apology, Woo! you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Give it up for her. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And I'll be Amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, yes, thank you for your service. <laughs> you know what? One more. One more. Oh, that's a good question. I feel like he was very health conscious, so he'd probably go with like the the, the salads that they had. Probably um grilled chicken salad. Uh I mean, he, he's shouting out uh, the Big Mac and Quarter Pounder have this many grams of fat. I, oh, yeah, yeah, he, they served food to eat, but I mean, in addition to the rock music. Let's, let's take a few more. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Working our way back. Hmm. That's a good question. I think philosophically, he would have uh, he would have been okay with the idea, but I think it would have been more of a song form. I think he would have turned it into a, a super size me. Well, rock and roll McDonald's, obviously. Yeah, this is kind of a mixed bag, I think, because I mean he's very health conscious, but at the same time, I mean there's more to it than just the health aspects of McDonald's. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, he's all about the experience. He, he he didn't sit by a highway and draw draw his art for uh, for, for just self edification. Like the, the, there was a there's a reason to it. The um, I mean, he had to make money. He had to create, just keep creating. And I, I think that in a world where super size me is okay, I think he would have been okay um, making a more targeted song about it. And I think, given more time, unfortunately, taken from us in 2003, I think. Um, I think you would have had some music about it. Absolutely. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, I remember that was. Um... Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. he did. That, that's... Yeah. Uh, yes, you. Yeah. Son yeah. of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Four figures. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and absolutely. And, and let's not kid ourselves. That's a that's a huge setback. That's that's uh for a guy that's hustling on the street. That's yeah. that's absolutely huge. He's selling paintings for ten to twenty bucks a pop. But, but let's take a moment to celebrate what he achieved. I mean, absolutely. Uh, with, with his paintings, yeah. Uh, 20 bucks with his well, line art. His paintings uh, didn't make him. I mean, it's, the music. Definitely, yeah, he, he got the music, and, and uh, by the end of his career, uh, he was playing sold out shows. He was selling, he, he was making one, two, three grand a show 
in just cash that he he didn't ever put in the banking system, just kept it on him. So, so thank God for that. Yeah. And again, is, is it is it just the cult impact that he had, or um, what was there something deeper that connected all of us? So. Yeah, I feel like it's a mixed bag, you know. Yeah. Uh, yes, go ahead. Do we know if there's any particular meeting that uh, he assigned to superhero? He's a lot. He 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 absolutely has. Um, um, uh, I'll be real. This is a thought that I had as well. <laughs> I, 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 I do not know. <laughs> I mean, Batman would be perfect as a demon, you know, a triumph story. You know, uh, Batman's a demon of mine. He's, he's attacking me here and I'm beating the hell out of him. Yeah. Whooping his ass. But... <laughs> well, Batman kicked his ass too. Uh, uh, he just didn't. He yeah, was just yeah, not taking no yeah, for he, an answer. Yeah, he knocked him to the floor. <laughs> yeah, he got but, back up and he knocked him to the yeah, floor. Yeah, it was a very balanced battle. Like, <laughs> like there, this was engaged. Uh, uh, Bird, Birdman is a being of like pure logic. So I, I'm thinking, as a D and D character, Wesley Willis being able to withstand the beatings of Batman at least had a constitution of like 14. Uh, so. Easily, easily. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's that's very fair. I don't uh, know if Birdman has temperature requirements though. Like <laughs> the chicken cow does. <laughs> Negative twenty five degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Anybody interested in chicken cow? Yeah. I particularly like this one. I'm going to wait the three seconds to get the ad through. Get rid of it. Rip capitalism. This beast comes out when it is 25 degrees below zero. It can rip your head off. It can fly as high as a bird. It can bite your face. The chicken cow, the chicken cow, the chicken cow, the chicken cow. This beast killed as many as 100,000 people. Its wings can flap like a bird. It can break a glass. It can also stab you in the ass. Stab the you in the ass. Cow, the chicken cow. The chicken cow, the chicken cow. Let's give it up for Wesley Willis. Apologies, we're running a little bit over. We'll be done in just a few moments. Chicken cow! Brr. This beast attacked my brother! It stabbed him in the ass while he was in the cold. Sir, His you're welcome to join bitten. us at His Wesley Willis. <laughs> Wesley Willis panel. The chicken cow! The chicken cow! The chicken cow! The chicken cow! Rock over London, rock over Chicago. Chicago. Blockbuster video. Wow, what a difference. Wow. Woo! <laughs> what a difference. What a difference indeed. They all missed it. They don't know what they missed. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, with that, we're uh, 
we we are at time. Uh, yeah. Any questions? Any requests? Any last minute things? What was that, Steve? Uh, Suck my dog's dick, please. <laughs> All right. We're going to do some bestiality up in here. Just, just a quick, quick couple of notes. I don't know what the remastered is. Does anybody know what the remastered is? All right. S second note. Again, this is an 18 plus panel. Anybody? For all the you people who are out there, we're going to listen to Suck My Dog's Dick. If you, <laughs> feel free to come on in. It's Wesley Willis. Oh, if you are 18 plus. <laughs> yes, 18 plus. 18 plus only. Wesley Willis is Suck My Dog's Dick. <laughs> 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 don't be shy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I honestly I find this disrespectful. Like, I, I the the video itself. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with the remastered. A little more respectful. Paying tribute to the art. Paying tribute to the artist. I I don't know. Again, I think I've had a transformation with Wesley. So, all right, who's ready to suck a dog's dick? <laughs> Woo! Look at Moose's dick, suck my doggy's cock, suck a honey badger's ass. Suck my dog's dick, they walk. Suck my dog's dick, suck my dog's dick, suck my dog's dick. Suck a race horse's booty hole, suck a snow leopard's ass, suck a custom pin and ghost dick, suck my doberman pincher's cock. Suck my dog's dick. 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 Dude, I gotta piss like a piss or Ever since this attack. song helped people walk away from our panel. Why not both? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's two ways. They can't handle it. Do they deserve to be here? Are you happy? We all deserve to hear the message. Whether or not we follow it. I guess they really are. Chicago, Chicago. Island. It's a Chicago's crab brewer. 